And hello, everyone! Welcome back to Let's Play Kerbal Space Program! I'm your host, Jason, and we'll be jumping into it right here again with our attempt at Mooner Orbit! Yahoo! <laughs> Alright, so... Oh, we're basically exactly where we left off before. Um, there's actually a new um, patch that's out. It's it's sort of like a, a, a mini patch, fixing a few things, tweaking the SAS a little bit, which is nice. So, I'm going to just launch myself right into the vehicle assembly building and start cooking up a what will hopefully be a rocket to the moon. And here we go. And here we are, <clears throat> the Mooner Monkey. <laughs> so yeah, this is like totally experimental. I have no idea if this is going to work. I've never even used a design even remotely like this before. And of course I forget the landing, the, the uh, not the landing, the, uh, the, the lift off struts here. So, but yeah, um, it's a, two-stage-ish rocket design and hopefully this thing will uh, get off the ground. <laughs> Ooh, crew button, nice. Um, so I'm I'm hoping, cross his fingers here, that this will work and that I will be able to do some cool stuff with it. So let's find out here. And you'll probably also notice that I've tweaked the volume, so you should actually be able to hear me during liftoff, um, I hope. <laughs> we shall find out momentarily. Oh boy, this thing's gonna fall apart and collapse, isn't it? Oh my. Okay. Well, let's just kind of see how it goes. <laughs> I realized that I forgot wings. Ah, okay. Well, and... Countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. Lift off and damn it. Okay. <laughs> well, this will give me a chance to add those uh, those little winglets that I need to throw in here. Jeez, can't believe I forgot that. Wow. Staging! <laughs> oh boy. Alright. Let's do that. And let's do that. And let's make sure that things are doing what they're supposed to. And try that again. Okay. Take two. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, we're off to a great start so far, aren't we? All right, and here we go with the trio, Bill, Bob, and Jebediah. And take two liftoff. Five, four, three, two, one. Just a bit. Okay. 
And I'm at 10,000, almost ready for a gravity turn. Yep, now I can do the gravity turn, punch it at 45. Not the most efficient way of doing this, but it works. Okay. Gonna run out of fuel here, and... stuff. 65, my... Uh, yes, okay. 68, 69, and 70. Hello, space. There's the space music. Okay, so I got that done. Now the next step is going to be to get myself into orbit around Kerbin! Ba -do -ba -do -ba -do -ba -do -ba -do and... That's a little much. Oh, and as a side note to people, if you have not seen the trailer for the new Cosmos series, shame on you. <laughs> go watch that immediately. Pause this video right now and go watch that. <laughs> yeah, it is amazing. Okay, so I'm using the nuclear engine here, which means that my thrust is just lame as shit. Um, so what I will need to do is use my brain. Um, keep using my brain. Uh, right. So I will, I will need to burn for a lot longer than I normally would have to. Um, as you can see, estimated burn is two and a half minutes, which, or two minutes and 22 seconds, which means I should burn at one minute and 11 seconds, which will be coming up in just a moment here. And time accelerate just a bit to get me close to that. Two, two, 30, 20, okay. Almost there. 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, all right, 13, good enough. And go for it. I'm really hoping that somewhere in these in the patch they've fixed the estimated burn counter because that thing can sometimes be horribly, horribly wrong. And so blatantly, obviously horribly wrong when it is too. It's just, yeah, kind of sad. <laughs> all right doing the burn. Hey, there's my old pieces there. They're going to be falling back to Kerbin. So I was actually hoping to use these for my uh, Mooner insertion and use all this fuel for other stuff, but you know, that's not quite how it goes. <laughs> so I'm going to plop into the map here. Set Moon as my target. Set as target. Woot. And pull back out of that. And ooh, yay, look at that engine go. Alright. And just another minute and 15 on the burn. And at some point I'm going to start cutting the um, the longer burns. Like when I go for a... Uh, um, a mooner insertion. I'm gonna cut a good deal of that bur of that burn because it's um 
Yeah. <laughs> that would be a little much. That would probably take me several minutes instead of just like two, maybe like five or something. I don't want you guys to have to endure through that whole thing. Uh, boy, almost done with this burn. 30 seconds. Jebediah is just digging it. Even Bill's doing all right. Bob is, you know, Bob. Make sure I stay on target here. Oh, I love this new SAS. So awesome. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and cut it. All right, how'd I do? Orbit looks good. Okay. So, the next burn... Oh, the ascending node is like a joke. All right, where's Moon? Moon is over here. So, I'm probably going to want to burn on, of course, the opposite end. And whee! Yeah, we're looking at three minutes here. <laughs> okay, so what I want to do... Just tweak this until I feel a little bit more comfortable with how I'm doing this. Maybe a smidge more and over a bit. It's going to put me 365. See, a lot of this game is just tweaking it until you think you got it right. 256, okay, and that'll be a uh, three some odd minute burn. And I'm assuming this is gonna be wow, that is super responsive. Jeez. Okay, and there we go. <laughs> Still plenty of SAS cycling I see I'm gonna have to do. So at some point, um, after I do this Mooner orbit, um, I am actually going to... I'm going to do a Mooner Lander. Just for the heck of it. Because that's what you do. I haven't really looked at any of the mods um, to test for compatibility for the new version. Which I probably should be doing at some point. You know, because I, I really want to get the Keythane mod installed. Because that makes everything possible <laughs> yeah all right 10 minutes and six five so I'm gonna want to burn okay he's that up so it's three and a half that means I'm gonna want to burn at a minute and 45 seconds roughly so coming up on that pretty soon here. 13, 13, almost, 15 seconds to go, hello, Kerbal, <laughs> one, 50, 7, 46, 45. Okay, and here we go. And I will cut out here and come back in once things start getting interesting again. All right. And we're back. So it's about 30 seconds left on the burn now. And you're going to see the uh, apoapsis start to shoot up really fast here. So let's see here. Want to get it up to what was it aiming for? Ten thousand or so? It's getting there. It's getting there. I want to be really precise about this if I can, which is really hard to do. Okay. And almost there. Almost and. Cut it. 
All right, I think that's good enough. Let's nix this and see how I did. 283. Let's see what happens if I... Ooh, closer. Okay, okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep going in this direction here. See what happens. And let's see here if I remember how to do this properly. There we go. Two thousand. I want to try to get as close as possible because that'll spend the least amount of fuel if I can get this right now. Okay. 49,700 meters. Nice. Alright, and I will have my moon encounter in six hours and seven minutes. And let's take a look at Woot. Here we are. We're off at 2,800 some odd meters per second. Yahoo! And there's Moon! Let's do some time accelerating to see what happens. 10, 50, 100, 1000. Yeah, we're coming up pretty good on Moon! Uh huh. 7 million meters, 8, 9, Oh, we're so close. Oh, what's it look like? How close are we? Why is my map not working? Give me my orbit map. Okay, yeah, we're pretty close. Still two game hours away, though. All right, and gotta be getting real close here. Oh boy, almost at 10,000 kilometers from Kerbin. Alright. Still haven't switched over into the uh, lunar path though yet. Getting close, getting really close. Gah, slow me down. There we are, my map button's working again. Alright. So let's just kind of accelerate things here. Uh, and this is this is fun. I always love doing this. So watch as the trajectory changes here. Three minutes, two, one, and fifteen seconds. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and orbit trajectory change. Ha! <laughs> All right, that was good. So, forty-nine, six hundred. Oh man, I nailed that really good. Really, really good. Okay, so next step is gonna be. Let's see, let me center myself on Moon. Since, you know, set as target. Well, yeah, I'm at it, so I don't need to set it as target anymore, I guess. Alright, and then slow myself down. See if I can get into a 50 by 50. It's 244. Ooh, yep, yep, starting to get it there. 56 by 49. 50 by 48. That's plenty fine. Okay, 55 second burn. That's nowhere near as bad as it was getting out here. <laughs> All right, let's see. Where is my burn target? There we go. Okay. Oh, I love this new SAS stuff. I'll just basically keep the damn thing on all the bloody time. And, oh, gorgeous. Look at that. Yeah, that's, that's nice. That is nice. Just... Mm, let's see what was the command for ah, there we are F2 
<laughs> Get rid of the interface. Absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> All right, it's a uh, <laughs> it's a Kerbal eclipse. Kerbal is eclipsing Kerbal, <laughs> or is, is it the other way around? Um, I I think it's the other way around. I don't honestly remember. As sad as that is, okay. So um. A little over an hour game time. Let's do some time warping. Do the time warp. And 50, 40, 30, 20, 20. Okay, slow that down a bit. Ooh. Ah, uh, yeah, we have the gorgeous new, the new lunar surface. Oh, boy. Nice. Now, I gotta wonder, I mean... I know that the moon looks like this on the side that's facing away from uh, that that the the moon, you know, the regular moon, uh, looks like this on the side that's facing away from Earth. But towards Earth, it's it's much more smooth because you know it's facing towards Earth. So anything that was coming at it would have to like not be captured and impact Earth. It would like have to loop around it but facing away it's like hey look at this gigantic shield that's blocking things that are coming in <laughs> so the back side of the moon definite of our moon definitely looks like that but i guess you know the kerbal system is a little bit weirder okay a little more time warp here so i should hit this at a little bit less than 30 seconds to the node 40, okay, and, okay, almost there, 2, 31, and, punch it, okay, go through this burn, whee, yep, I always like watching this too, <laughs> Watch it spins all that around and hey, it closed. All right. And they brought back the annoying uh, thruster audio bug, which I'm sure you guys are hearing. Yeah, there it is again. Almost, almost, 70, 60, 50, and cut that. Now let's get those going in. There, that'll work just fine. Okay, there we go. Moonar orbit. Ladies and gentlemen, I have reached the moon. I have reached moon and I still have over half of my fuel left. That is awesome. If I really wanted to, I could crash this thing onto the moon. Um, no thanks. <laughs> awesome. I am very pleased. Whee! Oh wow, look at the electric charge. It's going down as I'm doing this. Because the capsule and the SAS module are draining electricity. And now that I've stopped, it's not going up despite having these solar panels. Oh, because, oh, lighting bug, no. Kerbin is blocking the sun, which is exactly as it should be, and the solar panels are registering it, but I still have light here. This is wrong. This is wrong on so many levels. Ah, <laughs> uh, well. Such is life. 
Okay, so, um, <laughs> reaction wheels, and also reaction wheels here. Huh. I'm gonna have to look up and see what these do now, now that, you know, SAS is integrated into the, uh, the cockpits. So in other words, I've got them all the bloody time. Toggle torque. Torque off, torque on. Ooh, let me test that out, actually. Disable all torque. And let's see how easy it is to rotate my spacecraft. It's impossible. I can't. Uh, yeah, you can see the indicators moving down here. Oh, man, I can't even roll it. That's so cool. Okay, let's toggle that torque. And I can get some movement. Not as snappy as what I had before, but hey, it's all cool. All right, and disable that torque and the SAS will never be able to correct itself now. Let's try this one. Toggle torque. Uh-huh, same deal. Very nice. Toggle that off and toggle torque. Alright. Very cool. Very, very cool. Oh man, I'm I'm so looking forward to getting that, that Keythane mining mod up and running so that I can like build space stations and all that cool stuff. <laughs> okay. So let's do a few orbits around moon just because it's, you know, all awesome y and stuff and actually hold on here. Uh, oops, that was not what I wanted. So what I want to do is I want to orient myself north. Yeah, there we go. If I orient myself north a slight sp oops, actually hold on. Orient myself north and put a slight spin on her. It's not going to hold through the uh, time warp, unfortunately. Time warp disables physics. <laughs> if only that happened in the real world. So, yeah, there we go. 50. Ah, sun is starting to rise over there, and now it's gone. <laughs> and I'm on the dark side of the moon. Uh, the dark side of moon. All right. I could actually... Hmm. I have a lot of fuel. I'm going to have a little bit of fun with this. There we go. Okay, batteries recharging nice and good there. Now, watch as I get to have fun with this. Uh, there's the Apo, there's the Perry. Click the Perry and turn on the SAS. Swing myself around. So I'm not going to crash, or at least I'm not going to crash t intentionally. But let's see about pulling a slightly lower orbit. Or maybe a dramatically lower orbit, because I want to see this new moon up close. Because I'm crazy like that. And I'll just leave that up there for you guys to read, um, assuming you can see it and with the decoding and all that stuff. All right. 25, 20, 15, 10. Okay, there we are. 10 kilometer pass at moon. Let's see what, how she looks. And... Let me actually set up another maneuver node over here to get myself into a 10 kilometer orbit. And oops, that would be a 10 kilometer crash. Not quite what I'm aiming for. There we go. And just a quick double check here to make sure that, yeah, it doesn't look like I'm crashing into anything with this. And there's one particular terrain feature I'd really like to see. Okay, so I can't quite see it anymore, but this is cool. Oh, wow, that is really awesome, actually. I like that. Okay, so 20 minutes and time warp. Whee! Do, 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 do. Oh man, check that out. 
That is just awesome. <laughs> I know, it's going by pretty fast. I'll slow it down in a moment here. 13, 12, 3 minutes, 2 minute, 1 minute, okay. Still a little fuzzy, but very nice. 40, 30, 20. Okay. Slow that down, and I'll need to get back over here. Ha ha! I love the new SAS stuff. Okay. Almost. Actually, let me see if I can go even lower. So. I, I know, I'm crazy. Eight. Seven. Six. Alright, an under five click orbit. <laughs> oh boy, this is going to be a little crazy. Nix that, and you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna add the maneuver there, just so I've got the time to node. Because I can generally do this on my own pretty good. Well, time to node, and might as well get some directional stuffy stuff in there. Alright. Nice. That looks really good. I still have access to the 50x time warp. Ah, nope, 10x. Hey, even if 10x, this is going to take a while. Alright, I'll cut back when I'm doing the next burn. <laughs> See you guys in a moment. Okay, folks, we're coming up on it here. Just about to hit f under 5,000 meters. Oh, yeah, there we go. Just hit under 5,000, and I think I'm close enough. Doesn't need to be perfect, just, you know, good enough. And let's see, that's... There we are. That's our retrograde burn. Okay. Get the tags showing their thing. Alright. Almost... Come on, bring it down. Good, and yeah, I'm going to crash into the surface like that, so probably should have been a little bit smarter about that. <laughs> Let's fix this problem, shall we? I don't want to crash into the surface. And that'll do. Okay, so I will wait just a bit here until I've reached the periapsis and readjust. Go me! <laughs> Be back in a moment. And I'm back and just about to overshoot the darn thing, actually. Ah! No! No, no overshooting, no overshooting! Six, five, two, one, and there we go! Alright, I have a sub five kilometer lunar orbit. Alright, let's take a look at this thing. And can't see much at the moment because we're still waiting for the sun to get up. And so, physical time acceleration. I know I can only get it at 4x, but still, it's awesome. Whee! And also, <laughs> Make my Kerbin sick! Whoop! It's a Kerbin rise! Oh boy, this is gonna be neat. Just get this, like, super close-up view of... Wow! Oh man, I am just cutting that so close. camera it might be a little easier to work with whoa oh shit oh ah 
no! It was too low. Oh, man. I thought it... Oh. Well, I got to get a really good view of the of the new moon surface. <laughs> Rupsy. Ah, well. Such is... Uh, most G-forces endured. 3.6. I just got a little cocky. Uh, so, well, only three out of the four photovoltaic panels crashed. <laughs> Poor guys. Oh, well. Back to the space center. <laughs> All right, lads and gents. I think I'm going to... Oh, hey, check that out. So it is... Wow, it, it does actually render it as it is with all the stuff and the shadows and stuff, too. Very nice. Okay. Well, all right, lads and gents, I'm going to call it. <laughs> I will see you guys next time.